Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 59. 25 plus 25 plus 1 plus 8 is 29, because math. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. This is Hello. our weekly Floss Tube. Yes, ma'am. Our weekly YouTube episode having to do with counted cross stitch. Counted cross stitch. If you've uh, just happened upon. <gasps> Avalanche! Do you want to start again? Nope. Oh, we're not going to start again. Nope. Because this is real life, people. Real life. That's right. We don't get too upset about. I mean, I do momentarily. Yes. Mm -hmm. She brings me down to earth. Come on. Pull it back down. How's everybody doing? We're doing fantastical. We are mm -hmm. absolutely fantastical. Yep. And. It is. We got a lot to talk about. Sunday, August 12th. You sure about that? Yes, yep. because yep, the 12th. because we know what Friday was. And if you don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stay tuned. Check yourself. Check your <laughs> don't be mean. Um, so anyway. Welcome to our channel. Thank you to everyone who comes back every single week, who likes, who subscribes, who comments, who does all of the things. Right. Um, even if you just sit at home and you watch us and you don't subscribe and you don't comment, thank you anyway. You just check in periodically, mm -hmm. make sure we're still alive. Right, that's we're cool glad too. you're here. Yep, we are. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot to talk about. We've had yep. quite a week. We have. Might be a little bit on the long side, but you people love it, so it's cool. Whatever. So there you go. Right. Okay, so what do we do this week? This um, week started with Tuesday. I mean, it started with I Monday. mean, it started with, you know, Monday. the usual Monday right. or Sunday or however you start your week. Right. But mm -hmm. in terms of doings, yes, started Tuesday. Yep. Correct? Yep. Yes. So um, at the beginning of StitchCon last year, before the event actually started, Barbara gave all of us on the StitchCon committee, which is us, um, Sue Hillis of Sue Hillis Designs, Nicole, uh, Buckeye Stitcher, um, Lynn. Lynn at, who's the other part-time employee at Keepsakes, and, uh, then Bar Michaela, um, Barbara's daughter, right. um, gave us all gift cards or gift certificates or whatever to go get, uh, pedicures together. Yeah. So, um, we did that. Finally, we were all able to clear our schedules and we went, um, so just getting around to that on Tuesday evening. Mm -hmm. Um, we went over to Ivy Spa, which is in Blue Ash, a suburb of Cincinnati. Yep. And, uh, we had a fantastical time. They were wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice staff. Mm -hmm. A very accommodating. Uh, Barbara brought munchies mm -hmm. and wine mm -hmm. and, and Mountain Dew for me. Uh, we had a great time. We did. We had a great time. Uh, of course, the gang from the shop went all together. Mm -hmm. um, Nicole got there early, had already started on her services, yep. and um, I met them all over there, mm -hmm. and, and I'm not we gonna, had a great time. We're not going to show you my feet in this video because we don't want to lose subscribers. So, um, I got right. my nails done like a week and a half ago right. and they actually had at a different store I go to another place to get my and they had the same color for my toes so I'm so right. matchy matchy right um and then Pam doesn't like pedicure so she opted for a manicure she's got a little French manicure got a little French manicure there fancy pants yeah. Um, so we had a great time. Um, I rec oh, highly, yeah. highly recommend uh, if you're ever in the area and you want a spa day recommend Ivy Spa so Yes. Them out. And if you want to see pictures from that day, um, we decided not to put them into the video, um, but they are on my Instagram page, and my Instagram information is linked below. There you go. Okay. So, uh, that was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Friday was, was an like, international holiday, in case you didn't know. International holiday. It was World Cross Stitch Day. Yep. So, um, we <laughs> hope you had a great World Cross Stitch Day, if you celebrate. And Which we I were over like at the it. shop all day, because that's what we would do, whether it was World Cross Stitch Day or not. It's always World Cross Stitch Day in this house. And uh, we had a great time with everybody over at the shop on Friday. We did. Uh, and, um, and then... So... Well, do we want to say any more about the shop on Friday? No. Not really? No. I don't think it was so. it was a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. Um we um we saw a lot of our regular folks. Mm -hmm. Um 
we had heard about a I, I should say I, Stephanie doesn't drink. Um, we had heard about a wine that was called Running With Scissors. We thought that was hysterical. So and um, one of our regulars at the shop, you may have met her if you were at StitchCon, uh, Nancy. Nancy and uh, Jean went back east and uh, got us some bottles of Running With Scissors wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we posted a picture of that. Mm -hmm. I think at least I did. I guess it's on my account yep. on Instagram. Yep. Um, and um, a, a bottle of it was sitting on the windowsill at the shop. I mm -hmm. took a picture of that for World Cross Stitch Day. Mm -hmm. Then um, we um, restarted our Crock-Pot Fridays. Yes, ma'am. What better day to do it than on World Cross, World Cross Stitch Day? Day. So um, after we left the shop, actually I ducked out a little early because mm -hmm. we had some threatening weather and... Um, Stephanie, obviously, being an employee, has to stay till um, everybody leaves. Yep. Um, and so, um, don't uh, pick your nails down. I know. And um, uh, so I ducked out early and, and came back to the house to just kind of put the finishing touches. Everybody arrived safe and sound, and we had a wonderful evening. We did. Uh, we had uh, eight around the table. Yep. And we had lots of great food contributions, mm -hmm. um, salads and hors d'oeuvres and What was wine the official and, name of the dish we had? In the it was pot? some kind of Asian chicken. It was very easy to, um, very easy to make. Uh, and Are we putting the recipe below? We'll put the recipe in the description box. There How's you that? go. Crock pot fried uh, So anyway, it was a great evening. It um, was. And you if have you have... I do have pictures. Okay. We'll put those. We're uh, gonna insert those, insert those here. Here. It was a great time. And Sharon brought a cake. Sharon bought a cake mm -hmm. from um, Central, Central Pastry, Pastry Shop, or shortened just uh, Central Bakery. Um, if you have <clears throat> ever watched some of those Lip Sync Police Department videos oh God, on Facebook, dead. the bakery is in Middletown. Mm -hmm. The Ohio. Middletown, yeah, the Middletown, Ohio Police Department made one of those lip sync videos and uh, of course pastry. Uh, they featured central pastry shop because hello donuts Duh. and um it's one of the best police lip sync videos That's ever so, so get on facebook and search for it. it they really did a great job yeah so okay. we had a great you know we had a great uh commemorative cake and you will you saw that i guess yep here we go with the time warp yeah, thing weird um, you saw the cake, and that came from um, Central Pastry Shop in mm -hmm. Middletown, Ohio. So thanks to all of our girls that came over. For Absolutely. Thanks evening. for um, coming over and sharing um, an international holiday with us. Mm -hmm. And, oh, gosh, we have always so much fun. Yes. And uh, we don't know when we're going to have another one, um, whenever the mood strikes. Yep. Um, so um, we'll see. we're glad we brought it back. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's okay. talk stitching. Let's. So. Okay. Whips. 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 There you go. Okay, so we both have finishes this week, so we'll get to that in a second. Um, but I, when I finish something, I'm like, should I finish another thing? Mm, no. I'd rather start something new because I feel like I should reward myself. Um, and this is a small one, though, so it won't, shouldn't take me very long. Shouldn't. Shouldn't take me real. No. Um, and so this is by Hands On Design. It's called Follow the Stars. Now this was a... a Go sneeze. Go ahead. Keep so talking. this was a pattern that was designed... <coughs> bless you. But, mm, bless you. Bless you. That was designed especially for um, one of the So Much to Love project bag of the month. Oh. Um, and then... I wish I knew who it was. I couldn't find who it was. Who sent this to me. So I had commented on someone's post. And I was like, that pattern is amazing. I like, obviously, nautical stuff. Because Maine. And then I also like sentiments and things. Um, 
And so I was like, where can I get that? That's amazing, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, well, I can show me the story. And she was like, well, I'll just send you mine and the threads I have left. And I was like, thank you so much. So, thanks, Pam. So, um, I'm trying to get it so it's straight. So it says, follow the stars and find your safe harbor. Love that. <coughs> um, it's like 65 by 68 or something crazy. So it's not that, oh, yeah. not that big at all. So I'm stitching mine on a 28 count... Uh, mushroom Lugana, and this is my start on it. So, I did the pretty colors, very pretty. That color palette is Stella, yeah. And, um, so it this is the W and follow. Um, the only thing is that, um, man, I can't pick this up. So, Kathy, so you can see where I, I'm doing my so, Kathy had these are actually one, two, and three different shades of this orange. Um, and unfortunately this shade of orange did not really show up on the fabric. So I just substituted it for this. It's like a hair difference, yeah. um, but it pops. So, or yeah. it shows up better at the very right. least. Right. So that's what I'm going with with that. Um, I did all of this in like half an hour sitting and watching, um, Christine stitch all the things this morning. So, hi, Christine. Um, and, yeah, so this is really cute. Yeah. It's my whip. I like it. It's fun. wonderful. Um, and thank you yeah. for whoever sent that to me. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. But you know who you are. Right. For um, your whips, Pam. All right. So, backstory on my whip of the week um, is that uh, I joined a Facebook group called uh, Cross Stitch Barter. Oh, yeah. And, um... It, I think it was, um, oh, what's her name in West Virginia? Come Cheryl, on. Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl in West Virginia. Tranquil Stitches. Stitches. We love Cheryl. Go watch her. Yep. And um, so she mentioned the uh, Cross Stitch Barter Group. I think she might be the admin. <coughs> I'm not sure about that. Doesn't matter, really. But anyway, a woman posted on there that she makes project bags and that she was looking for uh, several charts, two of which I was in the process of finishing. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and one of them you're going to see in finishes. Um, after a little going back and forth, we figured out um, who each other is. Yep. And um, I have I have sent her the chart because of the fact that I finished it right. as collateral but I really want to send her both charts in barter for the project bag. Right. I think a chart and a project bag is not really an even barter. Right. That's my opinion. Two charts. Two charts is and legit. good two good charts. Right. Okay. That's a deal. Yeah. So anyway, so my whip is um going to be the chart is going to be sent to the same gal mm -hmm. um in exchange for a project bag. So um I'm pretty far along, but um, I'm kind of getting hooked on it again. I don't oh, really? know. Oh, good. You scared me yesterday. I thought you were like not. No, I, I got, I got, you'll see where <laughs> I got to. And I, I worked a lot on it Friday at the shop. So it's, it's a heritage sampler by uh, Plum Street Samplers. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. um, it's, this has been a longstanding whip of mine since the big, after the first of the year I started this. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. After yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Um, no, it's not one of my mania starts. Nope. So I'm not going to take it all out of the Q-snap because I think I might work on it some more this afternoon. But um, I came out of hiding because of this barter uh, mm -hmm. deal. Okay. And so I finished um, coming down here. Sorry. And I love... Look at the shading on this urn. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, it's black coffee and... Oh, what's that? I was going to say, look at the chart. No, I don't have that piece of the chart with me. Yeah, you um, do. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. So, it's black coffee and... Black coffee is classic color works. Classic color works and hickory sticks. Hickory sticks, yeah. You see the two lines there? It's so And awesome. I went ahead and, you know, you have. To, I have to be in the right mental uh, place <laughs> to do one over one. And I, it, it's charted for 2016. Obviously the chart's been out a couple years right. and, but, uh, I took the eight from another year, which is up by, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, and, that's smart. 
Yeah, you know, every once in a while, like, I, have a, I have a thought, you know. You're terrible. And um, so I got the 2018 in, and now today, or last night and this morning, I got uh, Abe in. Honest Abe is in Look, there. Abe. And um, so good. right in this big space goes the White House. So, oh. and it's not over one. So I oh, think. Oh, it's not? No. Good. At least most of it isn't. Um as you can see, I'm putting off the one over one. the one over one for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> and if I really get frustrated, I have a local uh, one over one fairy who's going to do that for me. She's already agreed. Right. Um, there's my little, you know, Washington, Washington. Cross in the Delaware needle minder that I got two or three episodes ago mm -hmm. from a viewer, uh, which I just, I absolutely just love. Um, is this two different colors here? No. It's all it's one just color? A, yeah. It's, That's um, really pretty. I'll tell you what it is in a second. It's, it's rain, rain shower, shower from Crescent. Yeah. Classic so color to me. What did I say? Crescent. Well, that's the old name. You well, know, I'm old, so I use the old name. Oh. Um, so, yeah, you can see the pretty blue variegation. Yeah, super and pretty. The other parts of it you've seen, so I'm not going to um, undo my I love my Abe. He's so cute. Yeah, isn't he cute? Get a good... Get a good look at him. At him. Yeah. Look at him. So yeah, I just posted. Um, Stephanie's trying to drag me into the, into the twenty first uh, century. Twenty first century with Instagram and Insta stories. You know, because let's keep it real about that. So I just posted an Insta story. If you want to go check that out, mm -hmm. um, it's funny. So that is um, my whip. whip for the for the <coughs> uh, since the last episode. Right. Okay, so now that whips are over, that's not the eagle has landed. That is the bell. The bell. Okay, so I'm gonna go first, Kate, because sure. you had two, Pam had two because she's an overachiever. Yeah. Um. So this was my whip from the last couple of weeks, um, and my second Stitch Mania 2018 finish. Number two. Number. Two. That opens up two slots for her next year. So happy about that. Okay. So there's a couple more that I think I can finish. So everybody calm down. So this is uh, Hopes and Dreams by Needle Bling Designs. Um, and when I saw you all last, I believe that I had like, I had everything up here done. I had the flags done. I had the ship done. I had the compass done and the White House done. I think I, all I had left was like this little bottom third, if you will, here. Um, and so I got it all done. Yay! Um, and this is stitched on 28 Count C Shadows from Sugar Maple Farms, Sugar Maple Fabrics. Where that, the heck did you get that? That was the tag that was in the bag with this fabric. So I don't know if they're still making it. I don't know who the hell sugar maple fabrics uh, it's are. It's not one I'm too familiar with. But, but that's what the label in it said. So I'm going to go with that. Sure. So this is my finish. Yay. So you'll notice it looks a little bit different than the pictured um, chart. So I did a couple changes. I changed the year 2017 on the ship um i did post in stitch mania on facebook and on instagram so if you want to know why i changed it 2017 go check that out um i also changed um the words hopes and the words the word hopes and dreams to the red which is ladybug from classic color works um and then the water was charted in the light blue that you see like up here in these flags um and uh, last week, I think I said that I was like kind of nervous about whether or not that the dark blue that I chosen would work. I think it works. Um, so that I changed the dark blue to wavy navy by Classic Color Works as well. So this is a finished product. And do you want to explain the flags? Yeah, oh yeah. So this is dumb moment, Pam and Steph, number seventy six. So last week. <laughs> Only 76. <laughs> Last week. Well, we've only had 59 videos, so that's yeah. <laughs> at least one and a half per video. Right. So I was like looking at the alphabet. So for people that might not know that this is the nautical flag, uh, nautical flags. There's one for every alphabet, every alphabet, every letter in the, in the alphabet. So there's 26 of them. Right? Yeah. Wow. Um, 
I do have a degree in English. So, um, believe it or not. Um, and then, so last week I was looking on my phone. I was like, so this, the top one is N, the bottom one, the second one is B, and she doesn't spell anything. Yeah. And Teresa. Sorry, Teresa. You know, she probably just, you know. She was probably was too like, embarrassed. whatever. She was probably so mad she unsubscribed and blocked us on all social media. But... This, these are actually the letters N, B, and D for needle bling design. C. C. So if I had had the foresight, then right. I would I might have changed them to S, C, S for my initials. But then they all would have been, the, two, of, two of them would have been the same. And I didn't want to frog it. Let's keep it. So there you let's go. Let's keep it real. Plus, it will be a funny reminder of how stupid we were that one time. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So this is my finish. Um, it's like... 70 by 120, so not too, too bad. Right. Um, and this was uh, started on May 10th for Stitch Mania um, for National Shrimp Day, for anyone that remembers when we did that funny thing. So um, I'm happy to have that done. Um, I think that I want it as a flat fold. I don't really want it as like a frame piece for whatever reason. So, but not today, not tomorrow. So we'll figure that out. Yay. Okay. Okay, your turn. Um, so <laughs> one of the finishes, one of the charts, we can't talk today for nothing. Anyway, one of the charts that the barter stitcher was interested in getting was Little House Needleworks Winter ABCs. And um, I'd shown this as a whip before in a prior episode. Mm -hmm. So um, you know that I had started it and was a ways down. Um and so I thought, well, let's just get Winter ABCs let's done. Let's just finish it. You know, by that point, you know, I was zeroing in on who this um, woman was on Facebook who was interested in this chart, and right. I just kept plowing away. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's done. boy, I hadn't worked on this in a long time, like, since winter, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. um, since it was released, because you, you got it when it was released. Yes, um, I got this. This is something that one of our favorite online vendors does is that um, she will package the chart, the fabric, and the call for flosses all together mm -hmm. for one price. Right. And that's Crazy Annie Stitchin, mm -hmm. and we love her. Yeah. We have more to say about her in a sec. Right. Um, and now I'm racking my brain cause I can't remember. You did the same thing with heritage sampler too. Yes. Yes, so absolutely. So that, that was the same. I did the same with any on fabric that. and call right. for everything. Now I can't remember the name of this fabric, but if you check my Instagram account, you'll find out what it is. Yeah, no so here we mm -hmm. It's long. <laughs> so... Uh, a, B, Cole, D, E, Frost, G, H, I, Skate, J, K, L, Mittens, N, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, uh, uh, Snowman, T, U, V, uh, Winter, X, Y, Z. There you go. And my arms are giving out. So anyway, very happy with this. Um, and it's so cute. Uh, it's super cute. Whatever fabric this is, um, I think it's pretty sure it's Lakeside. Yeah. It is. I think it's got the word platinum in it. I think. Okay. So look up platinum and and lakeside. Presses up like a dream. Um, my hair on it. The um. Oh, my hair. There you go. Cat hair. The um, the French knots were a bit of a a bit of a struggle. I have were to they say. Really? Yeah. Um. You had Whoa. three. You had three in the snowman smiles. Oh. For the, for the mouth mouths. Really? And um, their little eyes, then the little eyes on that yeah, snowman with a shovel, and then um, did the birds have eyes? No, thank no. God. Okay, thank God. No, <laughs> those were X's. But oh, then, okay. um, but then, what about the ice skates? Yeah, the ice skates were. God, what a pain a in the butt! Pain. Yeah, they were kind of well, and I didn't have any. I found out. No, thank you. Friday at the shop from talking about it that. Um, if I had really, you know, like no hair on the top of my head left, um, Delica beads would have been the way to go because oh. they're smaller than Mill Hill. Right. And this would have been probably an easy red to match up. But yeah. I persevered and I got it done. So that's my first finish. Finish. Oh, 
I'm holding the bottom of it. There you go. We are all kinds of crazy today. Hey, you know. So there's that. I love it. <clears throat> and um, I had my first. Oh, this is your first? Yeah. yeah yes, right. we did determine that, right? Did, yes. So this is my oh, first so mania finish. <laughs> and, of course, um, it's Bent Creek's Flag of Stars. Love it. And talk about pressing. I mean, this thing could stand by itself. This is their natural linen that Love comes it. with the kit and Love all it. the pearl cottons. And um, Okay, can I ask a question? Ask. Did you have to use a bigger needle? Yeah, so you need a larger oh, eye in your okay. needle for that pearl cotton. Absolutely. Okay, okay. You only use one strand. Right. And, um, yeah, so there Did it the is. Did the kit come with stars. a needle? No. No. Okay. No, but I had one. So. so there's Flag of Stars. Thank you, everybody on Instagram who has um, complimented me on the finish. I really appreciate it. It's beautiful. Um, not sure how I'll final finish it at this point. If that's um, so, but it's nice to have one slot open for Mania next year. Yes. You got you got a few on your list that you could finish before that. Yeah, I've got some small ones mixed in. I yeah. we all did a we both did a mixture of we big all. and big and we all all, all of us. us all two of us we all did a we all a we mixture. did a mixture of large and small yeah, um, really projects good. for Mania. So okay. Was, oh, okay. So. Oh, so I get them right twice. Uh -huh. This time she's holding the bell right. Right. Happy finishes. Happy everyone. finishes, everyone. There you go. There you go. All okay. right. So that takes us to mail, mail hall. Okay. We got so much stuff to show you. Oh, my Are heavens. you ready? Settle in or take a break or come back. We're only 26 minutes in. It's fine. All right. Okay. Okay. So the first piece of mail is from Paige, who on Instagram is Crafty Plans 21 and this pretty card. Pretty. Mm -hmm. So she sent some stuff for both of us. Mm -hmm. And this cat pillow. Like this. And summer. two cats. And that's accurate depiction of my cats, I will say. There you go. And this one, which I have never seen, and I'm mad that I've never seen it, and I'm glad that I now have it, which is by Caratow Samplings, and it's Patchwork Cats. Isn't that cute? I actually really like that. Mm hmm Just saying, I like this heart. Mm-hmm. Down here. I've never seen it. What did Paige send you, Pam? Paige sent me a great uh, pull-out from a magazine with um, two lighthouses on it, Rocky Reef and Sandy Shoal. Sandy Shoal? Yes, shoal. Yes, Sandy Shoal. Singular. What is a shoal? Um, it's a um, it's an edge of a shoreline. Something like that. Okay. Okay. Someone will so, come below yeah, and tell us. And um, this is really cute. This is out of a Stony Creek magazine. Yeah, that's super cute. April twenty ten, <coughs> and it's called. Um, well, there were four seasons, I guess. Ew. And she sent me summer. But look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. Isn't that pretty? For some reason, it's got a game board feel to me. Feel it to does me. have a game board feel, but and I'm it serious. The, the schooner matches the schooner that it's it has. really cute. I like that a lot. I don't think the picture does it justice. Well, I summer. like the colors. I like everything about this. Yep. So thank you very much. Here's Thanks, the card. Paige. Paige, that was wonderful. Thank you very You're much. Very sweet. Yes. Okay. So, next is from a viewer in New York, and her name is Linda. Linda. Yep. Linda for the win. It was just easier. Linda this, for the win. <laughs> it was just easier this week to keep them all in their packages. Yeah, we got so much that we had to, right. you know. So, she said that she went, Linda Howe went to her LNX, right. and she found some charts that she sent for me, and this is from, um, the Garden Collection from Friends of Threads of Gold. And it says, a home without a cat is like a garden without flowers. Amen. There you go. A garden needle book. And that's really, really cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And there is a little charm right there. It's a cat. Sorry, I just want to show the chart. Um, yeah. And... It's there super, super cute. And then really cute. And then she also sent this Tricky Kitty by uh Ursula Michael of Imaginating. Yep. And look at that. Look at that big black cat. <laughs> He's cute. I like this spider too. Yeah. Yeah. And I like 
I want to talk to the person that was able to get these on that cat. Right. Without right. dying first. Right. Yeah. But that's really cute. I like that. Yeah. Without getting scratched. Right. Without thin. dying first. Yeah. And then this is a Calico Crossroads Y2 cat with a K. And the, there is a little charm right here. And she sent the charm too. Perfect. So thank you so much, Linda. Linda. Winning. Thank you so much. Winning. All right. Next. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to. Prior, not prioritize, but organize here. Okay. Um, okay. So next is from Kay. Now, Kay um, was in contact with one of our stitchy friends, Sharon. And um, Kay made a project bags, I guess, or a project bag, whatever, for Sharon. Um, and in talking to, the, to Sharon, um, she knew that Sharon was one of our good friends, and she was like, I kind of want to make bags for payment staff. Can I have their address? And so this awesomely arrived at our doorstep on Crockpot Friday, so we were able to open it with Sharon at Oh, So that was right. cool. So that, she actually was able to find a card with a picture of me, Mom, and Sharon, and probably somebody <laughs> else on the cover of it. <laughs> So that's funny. It's really cute. Though. What a great card. It's a very good card. Yeah. Um, and um, Pardon me. a little something for all you do. Looking good, riding high. Congratulations. Love it. Great card. Great so, card. So um, she sent uh, a couple charts along with the project bag. So um, she sent for me, she sent this Catitudes book, which is the ninth litter. So I think that the Catitudes books... Um, by Jeanette Cruz Designs. I think that they were distributed, like, the first letter, second letter, third letter. I think so. Whatever. I so, think so. Yeah. That, that one that is, like, uh, looking indignant right there where your finger. Yeah. That's, I've seen that stitched up. That's really actually very cute. It also looks just like Mosey. Uh-huh. So, they're funny. Yeah. They're, like, that one says, and just, where have you been? Right. That's the one I've seen yeah. stitched up. And dogs have owners. Cats have staff. Hard work pays off in the future. Laziness pays off now. So they're <laughs> funny. They're really funny. Laziness so, pays off. So, uh, Kay sent me that book. Mm -hmm. And what? Oh, she, she sent this great um, <coughs> Sudbury House um, pattern a uh, pair of lighthouses. And I really like these. I really like these because they really look very realistic. Yeah, they're cool looking. Um, they look like watercolor paintings. Yeah, I really, really like these. They're not identified as being actual lighthouses. They're just called Red Lighthouse and Black Lighthouse. Hmm. But I have a feeling I know what they're modeled after. Mm -mm. I just have a feeling. So that's a really nice chart. So thank nice you, chart. Kay. That was really, mm -hmm. yeah. And... Um, and look at these look project at these bags. Project bags. So she sent us two different styles. Yeah. And mine has the vinyl front. Mm hmm So this is the front of it. Isn't that pretty? I love this. This is, I think, what what you quilter people call batik fabrics or mm -hmm. batik prints or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's got the hold please the vinyl cover seat mat. Mm -hmm. And then it's a really pretty deep purple fabric on the inside and then the back. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's wow. so pretty. See, and I like bags like this. I mean, I like every project bag I ever own. Right. But I like bags like this because it doesn't, It could, like anything can go in here. Yeah. Like things unseen can go in here. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any, like whatever. Six Fat Men could go in here. Any of my project products could go in there. Because I don't stitch only seasonal stuff, right? So, oh, yeah, this is right. a non-seasonal project bag, which I love. Yep. <laughs> and look at this adorable one that she made me. Mm -hmm. We're obviously on a theme here. Right. But isn't that the cutest fabric? Out of all of the project bags that you've ever gotten, you have not had one Lighthouse Fabric repeat. No, like, isn't that amazing? That's impressive. Yeah. So there's saying. a lot of lighthouse fabric out there, there is. which is very cool. Mm -hmm. And then, did we not say last week, you know, all you people who say put a bird on it, and we, yeah. we made the comment, we put a whale on it, yeah. right? Because we do. I mean, put a whale on it. Especially me. But look. Oh. I didn't even see the inside of it the other you night. You didn't? Nope. 
cute. So thank you thank very, you. very much. It's just lovely. So cute. We will have so Beautiful. many. We have so many projects. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Seriously. Because why not? Because YOLO. Yeah, YOLO. And um, so cute. Adorable. Love it. Adorable. We love it. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, Kay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And the last piece of my mail call came from, um, you probably all know her. Yeah, she's um, on Facebook. She is. And um, she's on Facebook. Always comments and on her stuff. Name is Carla. She's actually the uh, admin for the right. Facebook group that is I Love Stitching Lizzie Kate Designs. Yeah. So, um, she sent, uh, I have, we've gone back and forth a little bit, and she sent me this really pretty card. Isn't that pretty. With copies on it. I yep. love that. Um, and I have to laugh because she actually sent two packages. Well, packages. One was the gift, and then the other was this because she forgot to put the card in. The I was like, why did she send me two things? Because um, I knew that um, I knew it was coming because she told me she was going to send it. But I was like, why is she sending me two things? And then I laughed a lot. So, um, like we don't anyway. Right. So, okay. Um, this was another club not club kit but a retreat piece so uh the silver needle which is a local needle workshop in tulsa oklahoma um they have a retreat every year well they have two a, two year, a year and then in the summer they host a designer who teaches a class okay so you know more than i do yes i've been there <laughs> <laughs> oh is that camp one or so yes okay so camp one or so so this but that's year, the camps and then in the middle is the class in the middle of the year is the class. There's a spring retreat, a spring wanna soap, I think. Somebody correct me, but I think yeah. there's like a spring and a fall retreat. Yeah. And then a summer class. In the middle of summer is the class. And Oh, cool. Okay. Um, Linda Ebright was out at the class this she was. past summer. Who's Linda Ebright, you ask? Linda Ebright is the brain power behind Lizzie Kate. Yeah. So if you've watched our channel for any number length of time, you know that I love Lizzie Kate. Um, I have stitched quite a few of her things. Um, I have quite a few more mustache. And, uh, be if you are new to this whole cross stitch world, um, Lizzie Kate announced her retirement back in early of this year. Um, and so this retreat was special for a lot of reasons. Um, but one being that Linda, this was Linda Ebright's last retreat and last time teaching a class at a retreat, I should say. And this is officially her last pattern that she released because it was designed um, distinctively for this class at the Silver Needle in Tulsa. And I saw it and I was like, I'm dead. Like, this is amazing. I want it. And it's it helps that it's really, really cute. But, like, I also want it for, like, collector's item kind of situation. Like, this is Linda Ebright's last piece. Like, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um... I called the Silver Needle when I, after I saw this piece on the Facebook group. I asked them if they were still available. I was like, I'll pay a hundred bucks for it. I don't care. I just want it. And she was like, no, they're all gone. Um, and I'm like, <laughs> so then I got a message from Carla and she offered to send me hers. <coughs> and I was like, really? Really? And she was like, yeah, of course. So she sent it to me. So it is the Lizzie Kate, the Silver Needle Summer 2018 piece called Cold Nose. Cold, nosy, warm cute? hearts. Yeah, if you remember back during the uh, Olympics, um, Stephanie did... Um, giggly, wiggly penguins. But... Giggly, wiggly penguins mm -hmm. from the trilogy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I like penguins. I think they're cute. Um, I like both of these things. They're both adorable. Yeah, they really are. Both of them. Come, she brought... Oh, you can see this. Can you see this bottle in there? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. She must so, this is amazing. Um... I don't know if these these are not available through the Silver Needle. They're not available through any local needle workshop. Um, it's like a, a want. Like I almost didn't show it because I didn't want people to like freak out and like not be able to get it. Um, and I'm I have no plan on selling this when I'm done with it. Um, no. So um, keep searching on eBay. People will probably be selling them there. Keep your eye out on Sash Unload that kind of thing. Um, and hopefully you can come across one if you are, like, really wanting this. Um, but I plan on, like, I plan on making working copies and keeping this inside the bag and all the things because I don't 
want this to be her hurt at all. Right. So thank you so much, Carla. If you can't tell from my blabbering on about it, how much this means to me, I appreciate you doing that gesture so very much. Yeah. And I don't know if Linda Ebright watches our videos, but I love you, Linda Ebright, and I will cherish your last pattern forever. Yeah. And all of your patterns, just saying. Right, there you go. Okay, so this is your last piece of mail call. Oh, so... Uh, Pam got mail from my best friend. Yeah, I got mail from Steph's best friend, yep. Linda Jose, um, pretty southern, Yep, out in Oregon. And uh, we My love, best friend! Yeah, we love Linda Jo. We love, love, love her. And um, she was in a needle minder making mood, wasn't she, guess, the other I night? Know. And um, the other night, it was like three weeks ago. <laughs> she's been hanging on to that thing forever. She had, yeah. And oh, I, I didn't know. She was like, she kept getting stuck on her keys, and so it was. <laughs> I know the whole story behind this. Deal. Apparently, so uh, <laughs> yeah, she's my. Um, she's like my second daughter. I love her to death. So anyway, isn't that cute? Little needle minder from from Pretty Southern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same thing. No matter what you what you do with it. Woo! So, it was yeah. funny. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yep. All right. So, that was mail call. That was mail call. Holy cow. Good job, Pam. Okay. So, now let's go to haul. Okay. Well, so this is. We don't haul off a haul, but. Haul off a haul. Maybe we should. Oh, we are not going to do that. Mm -mm. Nope. Guess not, not on this channel. Sorry, people. Sorry. I so, didn't veto it. <laughs> so, this was a, an, a combo haul slash mail call item so this was something that i had seen on stash unload and then um this has happened before but it's like when i find things on stash unload that i want and i say me please on them i don't say like this is stephanie from just keep stitching like you should know who i am like who am i so but sometimes people figure it out and then they're like oh my god and then they send me pretty cards <laughs> With the item that I paid money for. Card. It is very pretty. Yeah. Um, it's Quilt and Crow by Kathy Schmidt Studio. Schmidt Schmidt with a Z Studio. Mm -hmm. Um and so she so funny. Thank you so much. You're totally welcome. So she um so these are the this these were the gifts. The gift I guess. There are two of them, so she makes Come on. I should have taken them out of the bag, but I didn't want to lose them. Um, she makes needle minders. And, or no. I don't know. Is it? Did she make these? I'm about to find out. Yep. Yeah, she mm -hmm. made these. Yeah. Sorry, April. Sorry. Didn't do my homework. Okay, so these are big and needle minders. These, and are, these are monster needle minders. So this one is a B. Or a beetle of some sort. But it's her... The information is... Uh, Homestead Needleworks with an E. Needleworks with an E. Specializing in stitch designs. April Whitaker Taylor. Needleworker. Um, and she's in Alabama. So I'll put all that information below. Definitely. Yeah. So you can go check her out. Yeah. She has a blog. And... Um, yeah. Yeah. So Stare at Alabama. You know huh. where Starrett, Alabama is. So, which what you know, did you get? And I got the butterfly. Look at that pretty, pretty. thing. Pretty. Very, very nice. Yep. Yep. Totes. Very nice. Thank you so much, April. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. No, I you didn't. And it, that was very thoughtful of you. And this is what I bought <coughs> from April. This is a Plum Street Samplers. <coughs> Are you going to make it over there, Pam? Please, for the know. love of God, don't die on plastic. We've already had this discussion. So, this is a Paulette Stewart Plum Street Sampler from 2011, and it is called the Favorite Font Sampler, and it reads, The Quick Brown Fox Jumps Over the Lazy Dog. Now, I plan on probably brightening up those colors a little bit. I'm not one for primitive, but then again, I also kind of really like the charm of this. So, for those of you that don't know... Um, the reason that I like this piece is because um, this phrase, um, so I'll read you what it says on the back. The, st the sentence stitched in this sampler was first used by the Michigan School Moderator in 1885. Because it contains every letter in the alphabet, it was considered useful for writing and typing practice. And my mom said to me, she was like, did you ever have to write that sentence out? And I was like, 
all the time. So I didn't take typing, right? Like I did. Right, on a typewriter. In high school. But I took... On a typewriter. But I took, like, you know, Mavis Beacon learns to type. Y'all know people my age. Oh, that's right. We had that software. Mavis Beacon was my main girl. I love Mavis Beacon. I forgot all about Mavis Beacon. Mm -hmm. So Plum Street Sampler. Blast from the past on that. Right. Favorite font sampler. Love that so much. Plus, like, I'm really into fonts and stuff like that because yeah. I... English. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so thank you, April, for that. Yeah. Um, wow. And then I'm telling you what, people, the perks of working at a needlework shop are endless. <laughs> so not only do like you get to hang out with people that cross us all day, and you get to you know see new patterns and all the things. So Keepsakes has been around for you know, um, and that means that their models are 20 plus years old um and so there was something that we had that um because when and barbara will probably not yell at me for saying this but i'm gonna tell it to you all is that back when she first started having models on the wall she did not write on the back of them what they <laughs> what i'm doing? getting the magnets <laughs> away from, from the your phone, phone. okay so tip. right <laughs> so okay so anyway so not all of the models in the shop have the name of the designer and the name of the pattern on the back of them. We're trying to, like, as we come across them, to put the stuff on the back. Anyway, she had a pattern that was not labeled, and so she was like, well, let me look through the old patterns to try and find it. And I'm like, old oh, patterns? What are you talking about? And she was like, well, under this cabinet... And she opens this cabinet and it's got bags and bags and bags of patterns. And they're the patterns that go with all of the models that were ever stitched for keepsakes. Ever. And I was like, oh my god, it's like the pit of gold. It's amazing. So we're going through it, and some of the stuff, <laughs> some of the stuff that was in there is no longer our models on the wall because you can't get the and once you can't get the pattern anymore, then we take the model off the wall. But right. there's a copy of the chart in that cabinet. So there were three things that Barbara gave to me because she was like, Here you go, you can have it. Because I can't get it anymore. So and she's probably the one who stitched it. So, because these are so old that when, when Keepsakes first opened, Barbara was the model stitcher. You know, like she didn't have people to model stitch for her anymore or at that point. So she just stitched everything. And so she doesn't need it. She doesn't to stitch it. So this is from Char a charted design by KD Artistry. And I'm, it's like, it's not handwritten, but. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah, totally handwritten. Yeah. And this is circa 1983. 1983. And it's Cincinnati Riverfront at night. I think that's cool as all hell. I think it's so cool. I was really surprised that Stephanie was attracted to this because it's outdated in terms of mm -hmm. what the skyline looks like now. But it's just cool. But it's her hometown. Right. You know, it's her, it's her mm -hmm. birthplace. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It is cool. Super it is cool. cool. So I'm just now seeing on the back that which these are probably really hard to find because I highly doubt that KD Artistry is still in business. No, no, no. But no. they, um, they the did... Delta Queen that's over there on the wall was a KD Artistry chart that hang in my mm -hmm. hung in my office for wow. thirty plus years. So they did since they did Fountain Square, Cincinnati Riverfront, and this is Cincinnati Riverfront at night. And then Fountain Square at night, Union Terminal, Chrome Conservatory, Chrome Conservatory Interior, Suspension Bridge, and Cincinnati Miniatures. I wonder what that is. And it doesn't mention the Delta Queen. It does not. Because maybe that came out after 1983. Yeah. Yeah. So, Katie Artistry was a local charted yep, Cincinnati home. Don't try calling that number. Right, cause, <laughs> they don't live there They don't live there no more. So, I'm so excited to sit just, just more or less for the Cincinnati history of it. And then, all you Blackbird... Designs people look up, look up now. So this is one of the loose feathers, loose feathers pattern number twenty two, moonlit gardens. So cute, so cute. And to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. So that was there because there was a model. Is the model still there? No, she no. had to take it down because she can't no get the chart. Available. Yes. So that's an out of to print. My, to my knowledge, and if if this chart is still available, it's only available in one of their book forms, like kind of like your, oh. your Home for the Holidays or your Sweet Land of Liberty book. Oh, you okay. cannot get it just individually anymore. Okay. So this is just the individual Moonlit Gardens chart. 
That's gorgeous. Winning. Gorgeous. And then, holy cow. Okay, so I think we mentioned before that it's like one of our life, life's missions to get all of the birds of a feather as a series charts. So they have one that's like quiet as a lark. Or not quite not as quiet a as a mouse. mouse. Um, silly as a goose. Yes. As a. As a blah, blah. Get it? So we got silly as a goose because it was available through Hoffman. So we That's the only that. one that was still oh. available through Hoffman. The rest of them are really hard to find. So right. Barbara actually stitched a lot of them for Michaela when Michaela was a daughter. Was a daughter. Was a daughter. Was, still is a daughter. She's still a daughter regardless of how old But she when is. she was little. When she was for her like little. a room. Right. And she came across this one and she gave it to me. And this is happy as a lark. Look at that bird. Dead on the floor. Now we're going to put a bird on it. Put up right We're going to put a bird on that. Okay, so now I want to see. And so these are really fascinating to me because. There was one in a magazine. Right, cute as a, a bug. Cute as a bug was in a magazine. Yep. I can't tell you right off the top of my head which one, but. And then there's there's busy as a bee, cold as a lizard, curious as a cat, quiet as a mouse, smart as a fox. Those are the ones that are listed on this chart. There were the nine total. Right. Including the one in the magazine. Right. And so this plus the five in the back makes six. So there were still three more that came out after this one. So um, this, so the bird color is. I have put the search in the um, looking for places on Facebook. Um, haven't got any responses. Oh, it's two different colors. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the main color of this bird is sable by General Arts. Yeah. So I wonder if the dialogues have changed at all. Well, who cares? Of these colors. I'm, I want it to look like this. Oh, though. if you want it to look like that, then you'd have to do a floss toss. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. What's the red? Cherry wine. Hell yeah. So this is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Yep. So anybody out there that knows where you can find them, leave a comment below. Right. Okay. So I have a new tool for everybody. I actually don't know. I, well, first of all, I don't have one for everyone, so I don't know why I said it like that. But <laughs> tool for everybody. I have you one. get a car. And you get <laughs> I have one for myself, and that's it. <laughs> Um, if you would like them, we do have some at Keepsakes, but, okay. So this is, it is not a flosser. No, it is not. You so, don't even brush your tongue with it. It's... So this, please don't brush your tongue with that. For the love of God. Okay. <laughs> so this is a chart clip. It's available through Yarn Tree. And the reason that I wanted to try this is because, um... The way that I, I have plantar fasciitis, fun fact, um, and the way that I sit is I have my feet under me to cross stitch, and that's not good because then my feet get swollen and it's all bad. So I've been trying to like consciously put my feet out more when I'm stitching, but that like changes my whole situation. Like I'm so used to the way that I've sat and stitched for like a year plus that it's like adjusting to a whole new like way my body is. Anyway, so... Mom has a sweet setup because she has like this big lap desk thing and she's got like one of the magnet boards that she has her chart on. So it's like easy peasy. And I'm like constantly having to pick up my chart, look at my chart, stitch, look at my chart. It's like annoying. So I got one of these. It's super lightweight um, and it clips right on. So here's a key snap and it clips right onto your key snap and it doesn't wiggle. But this part bends. That's pretty cool. And like it adjusts like this, and then so this is just a card, but it's like the same. It's cardstock, like a chart would be. Mm -hmm. Check it, check it, and then you go like this. Friggin' perfect! I think that's great. And it, if you happen to have a a copier in your home, mm -hmm. I mean, you could take sections of a chart, fold it down, right. And put it in this clip. It's awesome sauce. Because something tells me if you <clears> put like an eight and a half by eleven chart in it's there, it's gonna fall over. Well, another consideration too is I know she and I both, you know, will be watching floss tube, for instance, on the big TV. Yeah, and this will get right. <laughs> and you, I can't see a TV. Where's the TV? <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you stick it over on the side of your key snap and you do, yeah, it. you could do that. But and still, it's like a ball socket, so it moves that's around. Like super that. cool. 
I'm telling you what. That's a good demo, was, Steph. And it was only six fifty. Six fifty. So plus shipping is like less than ten bucks. Okay. So um, it could be life changing. I mean, I'm just saying. So and one thing that I was doing for a long time that I'm not necessarily opposed to was um, I was magnetizing my charts to the peak. Oh yeah, to, I've seen a lot of people do that. Right, and but I don't know. I, I just it, that was getting annoying and um, right, but. So I thought Sometimes I Sometimes you don't have room. Right. So they may yeah, if I'm working on like a six by six or eight by eight, yeah. uh, I don't got room for that. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is awesome. Um and I am excited to see if I really do like it. Yeah. Um I don't think that I'm gonna not like it. Right. So um yeah, so if you like them, uh if you like this, you can call keep six, we'll ship one to you. Um and you, you pay for it, and then we, or you go to Yarn Tree, and you can buy one off of, right off of straight up Yarn Tree. So it's called a chart clip. Chart mm -hmm. clip. Mm -hmm. Here you go. And, and it's there's made by Yarn Tree. Made by, or, yeah, distributed by, by, whatever. I'm sure they so, don't manufacture them there. Right. But they distribute them. So I'll put the link to Yarn Tree down below in the box. There you go. So you can click on that. So I definitely just wanted to share that with you all because I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Uh, and then I did have some keepsakes haul because, you know, what my life. Right. So this is Plum Street Samplers uh, Snort Stack. I will stitch this simply because Cincinnati is Porkopolis. Yeah. Look yeah. at that guy. Look at them. Look at them. So you've all seen these, so that's that. Mm hmm And then another Birds of a Feather. This is still available through our distributor. So um, if you're looking for it, contact your local LNS or Keepsakes if you don't have one. And this is No Bees, No Honey. No Bees, No Honey, No Work, No Money. From Birds of a Feather. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> so I think that's really pretty. It's like samplerish, which isn't really technically my aesthetic. But I love the saying, No Bees, No Honey, No Work, No Money. I, yeah. It's just like true story. It's kind of like, you know, an uh, adulting lesson. Right. <laughs> Good point, Pam. Okay. So then, mm. um, okay, then I'll do the rest of my keepsakes and you can show your keepsakes off. Two thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So this is a new pattern release um, from Barbara Anna. Um, I know that there is a sale going on for it. I have no idea what the hashtag is. I think it's like... Oh, I was just watching Emily C. And I think it's hashtag... She and two or three other people have been doing it. Yeah, I think Emily C. Lolly at Lolly, Lolly yeah. yeah. At Lolly Pop Stitches. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, Michelle, are you doing this too? Michelle Garrett? Maybe. Um, and I don't know. Uh, but mm -hmm. this is the Black Cat... Hollow. Right. So I got Adorable. all three parts. Yep. Um, and it's published by Creative Poppy. And so part, I'll show you part one. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. What's the fabric? Granite from this one here. Oh my God, I love it. So that's part one. Mm -hmm. And this is part two. Double, double toil and trouble. Mm -hmm. And then this is part three. Dead on the floor. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Mm -hmm. And then they all go together like that. So, so friggin' adorable. Love it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, this is, this is a bug. Um, I'm really excited about this. I have no plan, immediate plans on stitching this right, right away. But um, they, when we actually got these from Yarn Tree because Hoffman and our other distributors didn't have it. Um, so you could order this off of Yarn Tree as well. So, um, or contact your local needlework shop or keep six if you don't know. Right. Um, so that's Black Cat Hollow from Barbara Anna. Okay, Pam, what oh. did you get from Keepsakes? What did I get from Keepsakes? Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Julie. Julia Gulf Coast Stitches. Uh oh. She's calling me out. She's she's throwing down the gauntlet. Oh man, she did. Her because brother. she asked, I think it was her last video, if yeah. I had done Little House Needleworks 13 colonies. Oh yeah, that's right. 
because she wanted to see if I had finished it mm -hmm. and I didn't even own it. Didn't even own it. For shame, for shame, for shame. It's ordered, just so you know. Yeah. It's ordered. Yeah. And she talked, I think she talked about. She did. She talked about blue skin mm -hmm. from Plum Street Samplers. Now, true confessions, I am not a horse person. Nope. Surprise. And. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> we don't do horses. No, we don't do horses. And I saw this and I went, I don't want it. It's got a horse on it. Hold your tongue. Man. Not only does it have a horse, it's blue skin. It's. Hello, it's George Washington's horse, mm -hmm. and it's a cherry tree, and it's Old Glory, and it's GW, and it's 1776. Six. six. <laughs> what is it? What story time on that? Stephanie on the back said. Yep. About she just, Paul, Paulette, you know, she's right there with the history, mm -hmm. with the background. About this design, George Washington used two horses during the Revolutionary War, Nelson and Blueskin. Blueskin was the more skittish of the two, but both horses served him well and retired with him at Mount Vernon after the war. Thomas Jefferson once said of George, he was the best horseman of his age and the most graceful figure that could be seen on horseback. Isn't that something? Fancy. So we're going to be stitching a horse. We are people. We are not. Pam is going to stitch a horse. This one here. Right. I will be stitching a horse. It may be the only horse I will ever stitch <laughs> ever in the history of stitching. But it will be stitched. <clears throat> so stand by because it's a pepper. I own this. The model is Nantucket Brew. Yeah. From um R and R. &R. Okay. And thirteen colonies is ordered. It's on. Watch this space. <laughs> Here, give it to me. Don't put it over there. Give it to me. Oh, wrong place. God. We have a system. 59 videos and she still is putting it in the wrong place. All right. So that's what I got at Keepsakes. Okay. Um, all right. Next is, you got some stash on load, right? I think that was the last expense from the gift certificate from Artsy Marcy. Yes. So, thank you, Marcy. Yes. Um, so, stash on load. Yes. Yes. Stash on load. Um, Got a couple things here. Mm -hmm. This is a fancy that uh, called Meow. Look at that. I love that cat. I love that cat so much. I also like that spider so much. I think that that's really cute. And I'm very excited about this piece. Fancy that. Meow. Okay, what'd you get off stash on the Pam? I got a couple things. I got um, <laughs> something funny. This gal on... A stash unload site. Yeah. Um, and there are several, and they had variations on a theme, right? right? So I can't remember what the name of this one is. But she and I have been Facebook friends for as long as our daughters were in college at the University of Maine at oh, the same right. time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I guess it was just a, a fluke, but this gal is starting to list some of her charts and um, de stashing. And um, she listed this one, and I, I love it. It's from Full Circle Designs, and um, it's got, ooh, it's got some specialty stitches down here. Granny's Apples. Oops, sorry for the glare. Granny's Apples mm -hmm. from Full Circle, and it's got uh, a butterfly button, some beads, and some specialty fibers ooh. as well. Um and uh it looks like that is uh what is that thread? I don't know. I couldn't figure it out either. Okay. Well we're not sure, but um in any event I'm just <laughs> noticing that down below those are look like eyelets, those little apple blossoms down at the bottom. Oh. Um, so I picked that up off of Stash Unloading from an yeah. old Facebook stitching friend of mine up in Maine. Right. Hi. I think in the Biddeford area. Yep, Biddeford. And Biddeford. Biddeford. Right. And um, this was really uh, something I just had to have. This is a primitive needle. And if you have been stitching long enough, at least uh, uh, in this area, uh, you, you know of Lisa Roswell, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Um, but her charts were amazing. I have several. And um, this is called Patriot, Patriotic Jack 
game board. What about that does not have my name on right. it? Right. And isn't this adorable? Let me see if I can get up close enough. It even says 1776 on it. It even says 1776. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm all about it. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I don't know. The oh, this was an auction that I won. Oh, that's right. Dong, dong, dong. Yeah, this was a yep. this was an auction, and I I just came up with a figure and. Hell yeah. Wouldn't you know? Right. Bingo. Bingo. So, bingo. So, uh, and right. I wanted to mention this, and I'm going to fold it so that you don't see the uh, see the chart. But um, you know, we love Donna Bayless up at By the Bay, um, and. Um, she posted this freebie on her blog. So, by the bay. Mm -hmm. um, we'll link it below so you can go get it's it. It's called, uh, and it's a freebie. So, by the bay needle art. Um, we'll we'll find her, the link to her blog. And, um, don't show that part. Yeah, don't, uh, <laughs> so, uh, it's just a complimentary. This gives you an idea. It's white pumpkins. Hello. White pumpkins. And this is just a digital rendering. So, it's just a digital rendering. And it really is not um, real clear. From my printer. But it's white pumpkin, so. But um, I'll tell you that she's got the colors of uh, 3046, 733, and 830 plus ecru. So, um, cool. White pumpkin for fall, free design. Go to Donna Bayless's blog, By the Bay. Do it. Thanks, Donna. Great, great chart. All right. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is actually. Um, I want to thank Michelle Garrett at um, Betty Stitchy, Michelle, for sending me this, giving me this information from her video last week. Um, so, Kathy Barrick, uh, she is retiring, I believe, 19 of her patterns. Um, and you can go to Kathy Barrick's Etsy shop, which will be linked below. Um, and you can um, look, if you look at all of her items... Um, and you can sort them to view them from, like, lowest price to highest price. Hit lowest price because all of the charts that she's retiring are 50% off. 50%. So, um, I actually ordered three of them. I only have one one here with me now because the other two are hard copies. Um, and the one that I'm showing you, she didn't have a, P, uh, a hard copy left available. So, she has them until they're gone. So run over, run, don't walk to Kathy Barracks. If there's one that you have had favorited on Etsy for years, now is the time, people. So right. go get your Kathy Barracks. So uh, so this is called uh, Home in My Heart. So I think three, the three that I got were all three the same. Like, then you got the same, got three of oh, the, same, oh. the same ones. Okay. Words. So um, Michelle got more than I did, but... Um, the three that I picked, Michelle also got. So, anyway. So, this is Home in My Heart, and it says, I will keep home in my heart everywhere I go. And I love that. I really like this cat up here. I like her skirt, which I think is fun. Remind me that I said I like the skirt when I'm like, I hate stitching all this. <laughs> it's all a buck of color. But, and I also really like the sentiment. So, this right. is Home in My Heart by Kathy Barrick. Right. Um, and the other two hopefully will come this week mm -hmm. and then we'll show them to you next week's video. So go right. to Kathy Rick at your shop. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is the end of haul. Great. Okay. So that means we get an opportunity to um, feature. Yep. Um, Do our promo section. Yeah, our promo section. Yep. And um, right off the top. Um, you know, we love Twin Peak Primitives. Oh, we're not going to do that first. Okay. And, um. That's fine. Let's do Twin Peak. Yeah, let's talk about Twin Peak. Okay. Uh, this is what we're doing. We are featuring a design of Twin Peak Primitives every week. Yep. We love their designs. They are on Etsy. They also have a website. And, um, they are relying on us to spread the word about <coughs> their designs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we fell in love with this design. Yeah. It's called Halloween Truck. Mm -hmm. And I know many of you have fallen in love with, uh, designs that feature a truck. Yes. And, um, we thought this was a wonderful going into fall truck mm -hmm. design. 
Yep. And last week we featured a Halloween pattern, and we are again this week because, um, you know, it's time. Stitch them now, and then they're ready it's for time. Halloween. So, um, if you go to uh, Twin Peak Primitives on Etsy, you will mm -hmm. see that uh, if you use the discount code, just keep stitching, yep. you will get a discount on this chart. 5% off. And a PDF uh, download. Let's show the chart. This is Halloween truck. So cute. Yep. Isn't that adorable? The Just truck. adorable. Love that. I love that cat. I like that the truck I love says everything boo. About it. I love everything it's about it. So cute. Yes. So if you uh, if you um, go to Etsy yep. or their website, or website, you can order that chart as a PDF. PDF. If you prefer hard copies. Yeah. Uh, Crazy Annie Stitching, mm -hmm. another online vendor that we adore. Yes. Uh, she will sell you the hard copy. Yes. And, and you get, they're more expensive, obviously, to get a hard copy than sure. it is PDF. Yeah. Duh. Um, so if you click on the link in the description box here, it will take you directly to where you need to purchase it from Crazy Annie's. Right. Um, and you get 15% off that way too so if you like exactly it. so that's really really cool and really awesome right and then um yeah so so get twin peak primitives mm -hmm. all the links below yes and uh get your halloween stitch and start it people. you know this is a this is a uh designer uh uh in the netherlands mm -hmm. and so um mm -hmm. we are helping them spread their artwork and their wonderful designs um, to all of you, to all of our viewers. Yes. So, check those out. <clears throat> and speaking of Crazy Annie's as well, you right. all know how much we love her. Right. We love her. All of the things she does for this community. Yeah, she's been with us for Since almost the beginning. the beginning of our uh, crazy journey, our video video experience. Correct. Yes. So, um, and if you've been with us for any amount of time, then you know that we also are members of her Fabric of the Month Club. Yes. Which is. Um, PTP picture this plus fabric right. um, and we get two pieces a month um, and crazy Annie uh, Annie Miller she has a really great working relationship with picture this plus as well right um, and they're great fabrics and all the things so um, also if you watched us last year then you know that there was a picture this plus had a Christmas in July sale right that was the last year that they ever did it and it bummed right. a lot of us out including us and we were kind of like right. meh, meh. um but Annie Miller is having a consolation prize if you will yeah so she is doing a picture this plus sale um and it goes started today start, as a matter of fact it starts today which is August 12th, 12th. Um, and it goes until it's running for a week, I think. Yes. Okay. So I don't want to get anything. Okay. So yeah, it runs through Sunday, August 19th, midnight central standard time. All this info will be below. Right. Um, and then, so then Annie will place her orders on the 20th and or 21st, depending on how many they have. And then they will ship everyone their fabric at the same time. So, um, and then just remember that. Our, I think our best pro tip for fabric sale ordering is to not order fabric that you're going to need for something you need to stitch today. Yeah. So think ahead to future projects. Correct. Like in, you know, four to six weeks time thing. Okay. Correct. Um, and then, so all the fabric will be 20% off. That's pretty price, good. Which is really, really, really good deal. Yeah. Um, and then, so you, you do pay shipping, um, and then that's it. So the stair, the sale starts today, August 12th. It runs to the August 19th. Um, all your orders must be emailed to Annie at crazyanniestitching at gmail.com. Yep. Which is different. If you've ordered through her before, it's a different email than she used before. Right. Um, and then you have to put PTP sale order in the subject line. Yep. So um, we will put all this information down yeah. below. Um, but also check out... Her Facebook page, which we will link below for all information. Right. You can also sign up for her newsletter and get all this information too. Yes. Um, but like, check out all that fabric. Yeah. So go look through your stash, check it out, um, and hit Annie up for some sweet fabrics. Right. And also go to Annie's to get the 
Twin Peak Primitives. Pack if you of want a hard copy. The week. If you want a hard copy. If you she's want... already got them. I talked to her this morning. So she's already got them. Right. Ready to ship. Yeah. So if you want a PDF, though, feel free to go to either Twin Peak Primitives right. Etsy or their website. Link right. Below. There you go. And then the last um, promo of the week is for Diddly Daddle Designs. I'm going to do this every single week until the promo is over because you people need to get Teresa's bags. I'm just saying. Um, so uh, the promo is 15% off if you use the coupon code on our Etsy shop. Just keep stitching. Yep. Um, I have another bag coming. And, I, and I'm not ashamed about it. No. Thing I have a problem. So uh, also she uh, will do custom orders for you too. So if you have fabric lying around your house that you want project bags made out of, get in touch with Teresa. She's super responsive, whether it's Instagram super or Etsy, and say, hey, just a doll baby, hook me up. Yeah. So uh, go get your Diddly Daddle Designs project bags, fifteen percent off. Just keep stitching. Good to the thirtieth of September. Yes, ma'am. Yep. All right, and now we haven't done this in a few weeks, but. No, 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 no. Oh, oops. I forgot about this part. Who's not checking the notes? Pam and Stephanie's not checking the notes. We were out, you know, kind of combing through the stash, <laughs> and I said, let's give something away every video. Right. Because why not? So we have come up with something that kind of is a follow through, if you will, from last week's video. Last week's video included a tour de wall of the wall behind us because summer is coming to a close yep. and um, this stuff will be coming down. Yes. So I'm going to duck a little bit because uh, this was one of the oh my pieces. God. I'm pointing oh, to are? it. Okay. Yeah, this one here, which is Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse. Yeah. And it was from a leaflet from Stony Creek. And... Uh, people this have leaflet. been really interested in this leaflet. Mm -hmm. uh, we discovered we have two. I would like to keep it because... There's a bunch of lighthouses on there's here. A, there's a lot of lighthouses. Right. And so uh, we're keeping the one and we're giving a second one away. Correct. Right. If you so are... Yeah, is, there's the chart. This is the lighthouse that yep. Pam stitched. Right. And then there's all sorts of these ones and then all these ones too. Yeah. So if yeah. you would like to have this beautiful Stony Creek in your stash comment below and comment say, below I, I would like, like to stitch, stitch the lighthouses yeah, stitch lighthouses. that's all there is to it like um that. you know everybody says be a subscriber <laughs> we're not going to be checking our subscriber list i'll right. tell you that right now I mean, you have to be 18 all and the all things. that 18 don't say don't, giveaway yeah, I'll your comment. Stuff, you know all the rules right so if you would like this leaflet it uh it uh blah 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 it's book 164 um, it's been out a while. What's the middle look like? Um, the middle is oh, more designed. A nice spread, if you will. Yeah. Um, maybe there's a list of all the lighthouses here in the front. I think it's in the very front. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, Bass Harbor Headlight, uh, Mount Desert Island in Maine. Big Red Lighthouse. Oh, that's Big Red Lighthouse that was in your other book that, that you got. Remember those oh. Big Red Lighthouse, Big Black Lighthouse? No. No, yes. I think it no, is. No, that's Big Red Lighthouse. Oh, okay. That doesn't look like it. Um, never mind. Sorry. Um Big Red Lighthouse, Holland, Michigan, Sheboygan Crib Lighthouse in Sheboygan, Michigan. I'm impressed you said that. Uh <laughs> Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse, Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Uh Little Anasquam Harbor Light in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Uh Superior South Breakwater Light in Wisconsin Point, Wisconsin. And Beaver Island North Lighthouse in Beaver Island, Michigan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different designs. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. There's Bass Harbor. That's a beautiful light up yes. on the coast. Um, so uh, I see it. There you go. That's our giveaway so, for the week. So what we will do is we will. Oh, that's cool. They give it. Sorry. They give it <laughs> an entire conversion chart. For D anchor to DMC to J and P coats. Sorry. Uh, I was like, what is J P coats? Just saying. Hold, please. J and P coats. That's exactly what I said. You said JPM. No, I said I said J and P coats. Moving on. Anyway. <laughs> I said it right. Um, I would like to stitch the lighthouses. There you go. And then so we're we'll gonna do... be giving away something from our stash. Every week. Because... Every week. 
Because you come back every week loyally and you deserve something cool from us. So if you're not into lighthouses, wait a week. Yeah. We'll there might it. be something that appeals to you and you want to uh, try Correct. for. Correct. But since that will kind of followed on last week's Tour de Wall, we thought that would be appropriate. Correct. Now. Now shout outs. Now okay. shout outs. Holy hell. All right. <laughs> so. What are you doing? I put in the information oh. in my phone. Okay. So the first so, one we want to do is we want to give a shout out to our local stitchy friend, Delisha. Hi, Delisha. Delisha has made, what, three now? Mm -hmm. You want to check out Delisha. She is a riot, and she's our Kentucky gal. Her mm -hmm. channel name is Kentucky Sass, mm -hmm. and uh, she, she has a producer. We don't even have a producer. <laughs> we don't have a producer. Anyway, check out Delisha's channel, mm -hmm. and... Um, then we want to uh, talk about Jen. No, I won't talk about Jen. You talk about the other one. Oh. Because okay. I found Jen. Oh. So you talk about the other one. All right. So, you know, we had to get a heads up on this one. Mm. Sorry about two, the I don't know what flicking. the... Yeah, the light is flickering. So if it's... Okay. Hopefully it won't. It's still Maybe it's it. starting to... Let's get the video in before the light bulb gives yeah, up. Yeah, all right. Anyway, um... We want to talk about Barb and Leanne. Barb and Leanne, <laughs> up in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, <laughs> where all the nice people live, yeah. have started making videos. They have known each other since they were very, very young. And uh, they decided it would be funny, and it was funny, <laughs> to do a tribute to mm -hmm. Stephanie and I. And so go check out their Floss Tube channel. They are called Lost in Floss, which is a fantastic, fantastic. channel name. Mm -hmm. They have a beautiful opening with all kinds of flosses mm -hmm. with their channel title. Yep. Obviously, we don't get that fancy. But anyway, right. it's Barb and Leanne, and they dress up like us, oh and they God, talk like us, and they use props like us. We don't want to give it away. No, but go but find go Lost in Floss, mm -hmm. and uh, you will just be almost beside yourself laughing it's because funny. they've got us down to the T, and I'm talking even shirts. So right. yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Because so if I say any more, I'm going to give it away. Right, exactly. So that's that's um, the second channel. Then the yes. third one is Jen, and it's a shout out because she needs to come back. Right. Yeah. Seriously, where are you, Jen? So, um, every once in a while, like, I'll be scrolling through my Insta feed, and then I'll save something, and I have a collection of photos on my phone that's for Floss Tube. So, whenever, like, typically on a Saturday night or whatever, I'll be like, let's check out somebody on Floss Tube that we haven't watched before. Thus, shout outs. So, um, Jen is on Floss Tube as Quirks and Stitches. She, that is her name on Instagram as well. She is amazing. Um, she has six videos. Um, she started uh, back in March of this year, so mm -hmm. it's not too, too long ago. Right. And then her last video was like at the end of May. Where are you, Jen? Yes. So this is a shout out to everybody to go find Jen's videos and a shout out to Jen. Come back. Come yes. back. We love you. Because like six videos is not enough. Like I wanted there to be 60. Because I right. really want She's a beautiful, beautiful stitcher. Oh my God. So good. And uh, she's about my age. Yep. She's a little bit older than me, but in my same age range. And she yeah. stitches beautiful stuff. She's been stitching since forever. Her mother's also a stitcher. Her mother's also her finisher. Um, and you have to watch her videos to to go. understand the whole origin story. Go. It's wonderful. It's amazing. She is spectacular. I think the one thing that comes across that, of course, appeals to us is it's obviously a very, very wonderful, loving mother-daughter relationship. And yes. that is something that we really appreciate. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, go watch Quirk the Stitches. Yes. And come back, Jen. We and love you. come back, you. Jen. Absolutely. Okay, okay. So those are shout outs for the week. Yes. We'll have all those links below. Yes, we will. All right. So we, Plans. we are now to the point where we talk about what's coming up in the future. Yes, we will. And you have a sale to talk about. I sure do, Pam. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, I thought I dropped something. Nope. All right. So Tuesday, August 14th, people. Two days. That's the day. Two days. Well, two days from filming. Who knows when the hell we're going to watch this. So this is... <laughs> yeah, two days from... From filming. filming. Yeah. So this is uh, in... Uh, wow. Tuesday, August 14th is the start of Hashtag Felt With The Heart Sal. 
So I am stitching this along with like a ton of you all and me and Christine uh, Stitch All The Things are the kind of the spearheads of this. Heather Moore, the blessed stitcher as well, She, but she's already finished hers because she is awesome. Um, and so uh, I will uh, toot my own horn a little bit here. But I, this is all charted in Weeks Dye Works floss. I'm not the biggest fan of Weeks Dye Works flosses. So I did a color conversion to uh, Classic Color Works um, and Gel Arch Threads. So uh, I provided that conversion on my Instagram account. So go check that out. Um, and, or you could go back and pause the video and then write it down from right there. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I'm stitching mine on 28 count Oaken by Picture This Plus. Um, it's been a while since I've been in a stitch along. I feel like, like yeah. a, a big one. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I do want to say that I know that Acorns and Threads out in Portland, Oregon, they have some charts left. They don't have embellishment packs left, but they have charts left. So if you are looking for the charts only, um, Call Acorns in Portland, Oregon, and they will. Yeah, you if you're up. just hearing this and you want to get going, you know, at least get the charts in your possession, you know. And also, 123stitch.com also has charts available there, too. There you go. So, there is that. Okay. And the oh, other yeah. fun <laughs> thing is, I, I if you're on Instagram and you have been following me or maybe some others, you may have seen mention of different. Um, Apps on your phone that um, allow you to basically, quote unquote, spin the wheel. Right. And there's a, an Apple app. I can't remember the title of it. I think it's this is mini roulette. something or tiny something. Uh, well, it all got started with Arbitrary August. Yeah, because there was a hashtag Arbitrary August where mm -hmm. you just... Uh, took your list and just arbitrarily picked something off your list, whether it was your whips, whether it was your mania starts, all of a sudden this light bulb is super bright and <laughs> I have a feeling that we better finish up quick or we're going to go into the dark. Okay, but we're anyway. spending time talking about it instead of talking about your So anyway, we are Android phone owners and mm -hmm. uh, the counterpart to the Apple app is called Decision Roulette, right. like at a casino. Right. And it's really a cute app. You can put up to 50 different options on your wheel. You can have multiple wheels. And so uh, what I ended up just I'll experimenting with. Yeah, Stephanie used it for what are we, where are we going for dinner? <laughs> well, and I did. So this is what's kind of what it looks like. Um, I just put like six or eight of my whips on there. Oh, okay. And I didn't put all of them. Don't get excited. Um, and so then you just spin it. I'm not going to spin it because it's obnoxiously loud. But um, I'll spin it. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, oh, yeah. Isn't that it? cute? And then, ah, and that's funny because I already finished it. So I haven't, I haven't taken it off my wheel yet. Oh, <laughs> hopes and dreams. Go. That's funny. Isn't that great though? I mean, yeah. if you're just like, oh God, I don't, I don't know, know what to do. You know, it, and so what I did is I put my, and it's on the phone we're recording on, right. but I put my remaining mania starts, 17 mania starts. Mm -hmm. I took out. <laughs> flag of stars right the other day when i finished it yep and uh so it's just my mania starts for 2018 right and uh so what uh in terms of plans in as soon as we are picked up and everything and waiting for this to upload mm -hmm. i'm gonna spin the wheel on my mania starts and that will decide which mania start i work on this week it's okay. probably won't be a monogamous uh thing because i really do think i'm gonna keep going on heritage sampler this week uh, but we'll say, hey, I'm retired. I can do whatever I want whenever I do want. Do you, so boo. I'm going to do me. So okay. anyway, just wanted to mention that app mm -hmm. and that um, I'll probably post on Instagram uh, what uh, my decision roulette came up with for my Mania um, cool. start project for the week. Cool. So for the remainder of the video, it's going to be StitchCon information. So right. if you have no desire to listen to any of that, then have a fantastic week. And we will see, see you, you next all week. next week. But if you like to stick around, this is StitchCon 2019 information. Okay, so um, I wanted to first say that um, 
the first batch of invoices went out on August 1st, right? We all remember when that happened. Um, though due date for those is Wednesday, um, the 13th. So, um, please. If Wait a minute. This is the 12th. So it's the, not the 13th. I'm bad at, it's listed in your, it's listed in your invoice. Um, the 15th. So Sorry. those are due to be paid. Yes, due to be paid by um, the 15th. Yes. So please, if you are lingering on your invoice, please pay them. Because if you have not paid your invoice, it will be canceled. And then I will go to the next person on the wait list. So, or we will, whatever. Um, so there's that. Um, please make a note that when you get your invoice, that you check to see how long you have to pay. So we give everyone a full fare two weeks. So just make sure you check your invoice for that information. Also, um, the Facebook group is still active and all that, of course. So once you've paid your invoice, um, go ahead and search uh, Facebook for the StitchCon 2019 group um, and request to join and then um, mom and I are the admins for that group so we will verify that you are a paid confirmed attendee and then we will approve you into the group um, so there's that um, also please check the if you are not on Facebook you are not left in the dark so um, please check the website the website was updated on Friday morning with all of the hotel information um, so I just want to talk a little bit about hotels for a quick second so there are a lot of people coming um, and there are a lot of restrictions in regards to how many rooms we could contract in a block of rooms or whatever Barbara did all of that heavy lifting stuff. I'm just relaying the message. So each the two contracted with um, is the Hyatt that is attached via air walkway, skywalk or whatever to the convention center where the event is located. And then the La Quinta Hotel, which is where we had it last year, which is about 1.2 miles from the convention center. Those are the two hotels that we've contracted with. Um, as of Friday evening, all of the rooms in the Hyatt block are gone. So, because there's a lot of you coming. So let's talk math for a second. So, there's 400 people coming. There's 100 rooms in a block. Two hotels. So, w there's 10 other hotels on, this p on the street that you can get a room with, that we have not contracted with. Um, so... There's the Ramada, there's a Days In, there's a bunch of stuff. I've put all of those options on the website for you all. So please do not freak out that you are not in the hotel that we've contracted with if you ha if you aren't. So if you are somebody who not did not get in the Hyatt and did not get in La Quinta, there are still rooms available at La Quinta. But your experience will be the same because the, the StitchCon is not at a hotel. It's at the convention center. So it doesn't matter which hotel you stay at. Just stay at a hotel. So we've done everything that we possibly can to ensure that there are places for you all to sleep. So no one is going to have to sleep on the streets of Sharonville. I promise. Or on our porch. Correct. Yeah. So um, check out that information. Um, look at the website for all the hotel stuff. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Um, and then I also just want to touch base really quickly. Um, I have been getting messages from people, um, and I'm not like angry about it or anything, but I think that some people's perspectives are a little bit skewed. So, um, like I've seen some people who have like comment on posts on Instagram and they're like, oh, well, I put my name on the wait list a while ago. So as of Friday... We still had 260 people on the wait list. And that was after I've invoiced 200 plus people. So this was one big continuous wait list. It started when, after we announced the 2018 event. And it's just been one continuous wait list. So a, a while ago to you is not really a while ago. So I don't want to say that to discourage you from putting your name on the wait list because anything can happen, but the, the I, I, I don't, and I don't want to be rude, not answering a message that asks what number I am on the wait list. And also like the number that you are on the wait list changes almost daily. Um, if not hourly, if not hourly, because people are saying, you know, they're making decisions, right. they're deciding whether they really are coming forward with this mm -hmm. and it's just not discernible. 
Right. Where you are on the wait list. Correct. You just can't. Right. So, um, there's a lot of people on the wait list. Um, we have sort of like once we started putting sending out invoices on the first of August, things started moving. Yeah, people started moving up the list and all the things, and and so we are excited about all the enthusiasm. But there's a lot of people to keep track of, and the best advice that I can give you is that it, if it's going to happen, it'll happen. So I'm expecting that, you know, come Wednesday, another wave of invoices is going to go out because there's probably going to be a chunk of people that just aren't going to pay them, which is fine. That's fine. Yeah. But we got spots to fill. So we've, as of Friday, we'd spilled almost half the spaces already. And that was between um, people that came last year and people that are new. So, um, and that was Friday because I was told to take Saturday and Sunday off from Stitchcon stuff. So, um, I'm going to check my email later though. Don't yeah. Barbara. That's as of Friday. Right. So, um, please understand and know that, that I'm not trying to be rude to you. I'm not like by not answering your questions about what number you are on the wait list, but there's a lot of people. So, um, this is the part of the process where my work is heavy because I do all the admin stuff. So, um, just be patient. If you, if you are meant to get an invoice, you will get an invoice. I promise you that. Um, and the only reason that we're saying any of this is because all of the, the feedback has been so wonderful and there's a lot of enthusiasm for this event. So it's awesome. Yeah, we and really, are, we love to read the posts where everybody is so, so excited. excited about coming. Right. And I mean, this is a really good problem to have. Like, let's yeah, be clear. it's, we so. don't mean to whine about it and she doesn't mean to whine about right. it. And, um, and nobody does, but, right. um, it's just the reality of the situation. This is a large event. Mm -hmm. You may, experience some FOMO mm -hmm. then you may hear more details about how large an event it is mm -hmm. it may not be your cup of tea right. you may have made a big trip to come in June this past June and decide um you know I really have other commitments in 2019 right so that's why the list is I said it's a fluid situation <laughs> right that's what I mean by a fluid situation mm -hmm. Um, and so, uh, we want to concentrate on the positive yeah. and we want to get everybody in as much as we, as much as you want to come. Yep. And as fairly as possible. Yes. So we're yes. all the, the, the way it goes is that we just go down the list ding, 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 yep. ding. And as a spot is, you know, if somebody emails me back or emails Barbara or whatever and says right. that, you know, they look at their calendar, they can't come, then we go in, we cancel the invoice, we pull the next person off the wait list, and they get an invoice. Yeah. It's as simple as it works. Right. But it's a process. Right. So trust the process. Trust that we know what we're doing. And we will, you know, get you to StitchCon if we can. Yeah. So just be patient with us. Um, that's why we started so early. Um, and yeah. is because we want to get our yeah, spots filled. Yeah, at this filled. point last year when we were planning StitchCon 2018, right. you know, we were still deciding on when to open up the PayPal account for people to exactly. register. So right. we're trying to stay ahead of it. Uh, we're optimistic. We're mm -hmm. excited. Yeah. And um, it's all good. It's all good. It is good. So but we just wanted to give you a little bit of insight right. onto what was happening with StitchCon. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So please, if you... If you want to put your name on the wait list, please continue to do so because, again, anything can happen, um, and it's a, good, it's a good thing. And like everything else that we've talked about, uh, everything will be in the description, description box, box below. below. Okay. So, uh, thanks, everybody. Yeah. Uh, sorry this is on the long side. We had so much to talk Not about. Much longer. Um, and um, we enjoy being here as much as... Um, if As you, you enjoy uh, <laughs> hearing from us, hopefully. <laughs> right. So um, maybe a little bit more. We enjoy doing it. Maybe more than you enjoy seeing us. I don't know. I don't know about him. Uh, I don't know. Some anyway. people really like us. So uh, we're going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back uh, next week. Yes, we will. With um, more more haul. Um, more mail call. More mail call. More whips. More, more whips. things. Um, and um, don't forget pattern of the week, Twin Peak Primitives. Absolutely. Fabric sale, Crazy Annie, Diddly Daddle Bags. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful community we all belong to. Mm -hmm. We're um, happy that you have um, 
welcomed us into your home, and <laughs> we will see you next time. Yes, we will. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Stitching. Bye.